Okay, so for this um, hover effect or rollover effect for images, it's going to make it brighter. So it actually kind of, it's almost like it's overexposed. It kind of blows out the photo. Um, so there is a scale to this, and I find that taking it all the way to the, the brightest it can be probably isn't what you want to do. Um, but let's go ahead and paste in our codes. We're in design and then custom CSS. And we're going to paste in our code here. And then this is the part that you're going to edit. So 10 is the highest it can be. And I'm going to save it and just show you what that looks like. So yeah, it pretty much goes away, right? It's kind of it's intense. So I probably wouldn't make it quite so high. Um, you could take it down to like a two. Let's just see what that looks like on the lower end. Still pretty high, but see how it kind of slowly fades. So you could also take it even down to like a point two, for example, and just see what that looks like. Now my my images are a lot lighter too, so that's part of it. Um, taking it down below one, you'll see, has made it darker instead of brighter. So we're saying it's like negative brightness now, sort of. Um, let's see. So I think probably I'll just do like a one and just see what that looks like. And one is basically the same, right? So now you kind of get the idea. You could do like 1.3 or something like that. It just depends, you know, on what you want to do. Again, these are light images. They look pretty overexposed. But if you have a darker image, you can kind of play around until you get to what you want. Um, have fun.